I, one, one other theory I want to run past you before we go. Appreciate you hanging out with us. Um, Norfolk State's going to be looking for a new football coach here soon. Uh, people in, in, our, in our comments have jumped to the, to the Michael Vick bandwagon. That was the first name they started throwing out. Uh, hire Michael Vick. I don't know if Michael Vick wants to be a coach. I don't know if he would be a, a good coach or not. But I do have a theory that uh, I think there could be a level of, of organization amongst uh, people with high resources, you know, celebrities, former athletes that could become ambassadors of these programs. And they don't have to be the coach. Like, man, what if Michael Vick just showed up at Norfolk State practice, you know, every other week? two days a week, you know, offered his expertise, you know, helped out on a recruiting trip, uh, provided them with more media exposure. You know, what if Jerry Rice does the same thing at Mississippi Valley State? Maybe he doesn't want to be the coach and take on all that responsibility and all that heavy lifting, but an organized way where people like Chris Paul, who, who has become an ambassador for North Carolina Central and North Carolina a and at the same time, if we had more of that in an in a, in a organized, forward-facing manner, you think that could work, be effective, where these you don't have to get a Deion Sanders coach at every school? I think that not only would it work, but I think that it's something that's needed. You know, for years, we saw, you know, Dr. Dre giving money to USC. And, you know, you know, you do it when you ever want too much money, but, you know, HBCUs are responsible. We're the lifeblood of the black middle class in this country. Uh, so I think it's very important that if we would have celebrities just adopt an HBCU um, and, 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 and give and help out. I think that you'll really start to see things change because kids pay attention to that. And when Chris Paul does something, this LeBron deal with FAMU has really taken off. It's on ESPN. You know, it's on the ticker. Uh, when you have things like that happen, that garners news attention and kids really pay attention to that. So you know, if you have a, a, a Michael Vick, you know, where to, you know, hang around Norfolk or Hampton or, you know, you were have like a, a Alvin Kamara, you know, one of the Saints to kind of hang around Southern and so forth. I think those things make a huge, huge difference. Yeah. Yeah. And they can do it on their own terms. You don't have to worry about, am I going to have to fire this guy one day? And, and you know, or is he going to leave us for it? Just let them be an ambassador or, or her, you know, WNBA yeah. and, and programs like that. Uh, let's keep pushing that, man. I, I think, you know, a lot of people are doing it, but I think the more it can be become organized, it'll be more um, effective. And, and the exposure is this is the time. If you can't capitalize on it now, uh, when will you when? ever be able to do it? Chad Johnson is another guy. You know, he's been uh, fam you everything, him and Luke. Uh, that you know, they've been fam you, you know, everything. So hopefully it's a thing that more celebrities and, and more high profile athletes will jump on. Uh, because the thing about it is, man, we're worth, you know, the HBCUs, you know, what we've done with as little resources that we have, well, we've contributed to society far outweighs what we were actually given. Um, so, you know, without, you know, HBCUs, you don't have a black middle class. Uh, you don't have uh, the black doctors and lawyers that, you know, that we have, the numbers that we have. HBCUs, we've contributed uh, to that. We've made that possible. Yep, absolutely. Well said. We'll leave it there. B.J. Jones, thank you so much for joining us, man. A big weekend coming up, and we'll talk again next week. All right, looking forward to it.